Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I really wanted to do the newest trend that's like sweeping YouTube and it's the I tried doing so-and-so's makeup tutorial and oh my gosh, it was such a hard decision trying to find out whose makeup I was going to do. There's so many talented makeup artists and makeup influencers out there that it was very hard choice and there were some that I've already seen like repeats of so I wanted to try something different and I created this look based on Makeup by Giselle. If you guys don't already follow her or watch her videos, please do. They are phenomenal, really quality. She is an excellent makeup artist. She does makeup on others as well and What's really nice about her is the fact that she really takes her time to teach you how to do these blending techniques, what kind of brushes, and she will teach you color theory and she will do a lot of looks that are outside of most people's comfort level, which I think really helps to motivate you and really inspire you to create more. So I had to definitely give her a shout out and she's Mexican, so holla. Um, I think She's a lot of fun to watch and I'm always learning really cool tips and tricks from her. So I really wanted to cre recreate this one. This is a cut crease, like smoky eye that she has going on and it's gorgeous. I'm going to show you guys the picture just so you can see what it looks like. And you guys will see the video as well throughout. But look at how stunning she is that really well blended eyeshadow. It looks phenomenal, really smoky. Her skin is flawless and you will see some products that I do already own that she's using in this video, but I just think she took it to a whole new level and I am super excited and I can't wait for you guys to see how I came up with it and how I was able to follow her and the mistakes that I made and how I tried fixing them and overall everything that happened, so yeah. If you guys want to see how it is trying to recreate one of her videos, then just keep on watching. Head and I've applied my lip balm and some moisturizer onto my skin and we're going to go right in and watch what she does with her makeup look. So let's get started. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. She looks so good you guys, like flawless. I'm not going to chit chat too much, we're going to get right into it. So okay, so she's starting off by carving her brows. And I'm actually going to do my brows on camera today, guys. I'm Ooh. really excited. I'm trying out a more natural technique. A lot of okay. you guys have really been asking for a natural brow. So I start out by underlining my natural brow to give me more definition. Okay, so she's using the Glamouflage Concealer from Hard Candy. I currently don't have that. I threw it out a while ago because it's been sitting in my collection forever. But I'm going to go ahead and use the Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Treatment Concealer. And I'm using the Neutralizer because it's a little bit more on the lighter side. It is pretty full coverage, so I figured it would be a good one to use. And I'm going to go ahead and just apply that under my brow. It also looks like she's applying it as a base, so I'm going to go right ahead and I'm going to do that as well. Now her brows do look slightly more boxy than mine, so I'm going to go ahead and try to change the shape as much as I possibly can. And blend that out. I'm a little nervous for this because she is so bomb you guys. Her makeup looks always come out so good. And she used to work at Sephora so I know like I, I feel connected with her. She's Mexican and all those little things they count I feel you know. It's nice to see when you can kind of relate to someone. Oh, I like this a lot actually. I've never thought to use this. It's more on the warmer side. It reminds me a lot of, um, what's it called? The Soft Ochre Paint Pop, but like cheaper. So let's see what else and she's I doing. Find that when you do the step so first, she's applying it. it. Allows you to use less product. It looks like she's using a lot. Look a bit more on the natural softer side. So she's also using it as a base for the eyeshadow. Taking my concealer brush and just smoothing the edges of that base. That I brush here. Concealer all over the lid as my eyeshadow base. 
Oh, oh, please. Let me see what she's using brow. first. Using minimal product, I literally went for a very natural brow. You guys won't really see me rocking this brow too much, but I do it for the two. I do it for you guys. You guys really wanted to see a natural brow, so here. so I grabbed the dip brow in dark brown, which I know she's used. I didn't quite check the description bar below, so I probably will do that just to be on the safe side. But let's see. So it looks like she started from the bottom first. And again, she has that nice tail at the end, so I'm gonna try to do the same. okay so i think i think that's as close as it's gonna get for now for now and it does look like the next step that she's doing is using some translucent powder so i'm gonna go ahead and grab that and a nice fluffy ish brush and she's patting that onto the lid this will also help the blending process along the way so it will not budge. Then taking my makeup by Mario Palette and this shade called Isabel. Ooh. And take that on my makeup addiction paper. I have brush. not and used that in a while. This, into the crease. this will be that really nice orange vibrant shade that'll peek through right up Super pretty. inside the brow bone. So she went in and grabbed Isabella from the Makeup by Mario Palette. Gonna grab a good amount on an E40 brush and she looks, she's looking down, so I'm gonna try to do the same thing. Um, let's see what happens. This is pretty. I have not used this palette in so long, you guys. I really wanna get the Soft Glam palette. That is definitely next on my list. Should not be buying any more makeup, but I can't help myself. Okay. This is pretty. I'm gonna be very honest. I have not used. Almost dropped it. Uh, I have not used translucent powder to set my eye area in a very long time, and I'm not mad at it. It's still very, very pigmented. Palette. It's a red brown. It's a gorgeous shade, and I'm gonna take that on my Morphe 510 brush. This is a really small tapered brush, and you guys are going to notice that I'm going to start building the intensity right into the fold of my eye. It's really important that you don't... Ooh. Ooh! I don't have that specific brush that she's using, so I'm just going to go ahead and use a Morphe E28 brush. Again, dipping into that violeta shade, and I'm going to work that, she said, in the inner parts of the eye. So I'm going to go in and really work that in. See, that's the one thing that I have a really hard time with. I feel like sometimes when I do it too low, it'll bounce up. So let's try to fix that a little bit. And you can still see the color peeking through. So I'm gonna grab that E40 brush and just make sure. Okay, now she's cutting the crease and I'm a little worried about this. I don't have the gel liner that she has. Actually, hold on. There we use all over the lid as a base, and we're okay. going to take that and carve out our cut crease. I'm taking my dose of colors flat. I have that color. brush. I'm going to talk about this brush on my must-have makeup brushes video. It yeah, is definitely yeah. a must-have brush. It makes creating a cut crease super easy. It gives you so much control over I'm your a little worried. and the fact that it's so flat and defined it makes things so much easier. Okay, so <laughs> pray for me, guys. I do love this brush for cutting the crease. But this is hard. Thank you. 
I feel like it always starts to go up too high. Mm. Just to make it a little bit more intense because I can already see myself losing that shade that she had. I'm going to use an angled brush and I'm going to dip into Violetta and I'm going to pray that I can re-stamp it back. I've never tried this technique technique out, but I really want this to work out. Don't have the gel liner that she's gonna be using in the video. I have a white concealer, so I'm praying that it works. Taking my Inglot gel liner, this is their so white shade. I believe it's Cat number Bundy. 76. I'll list the exact number down below. Uh, you guys have heard me talk about this product in my previous tutorials as well Ooh. it's one of my favorite white gel liners to use it is so pigmented it does dry down matte and it is so so rich and easy to use so again you make mistakes gonna go back in with that violeta shade and I'm gonna try to clean that up again. So she did set it with some translucent powder so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Kat Von D and just lay that down before applying a white shade or trying to find a white shade. The closest thing to white that I had was the color Blanc by Anastasia and I really don't feel like it's that white but it's what we have, so it's what we're gonna work with. Oh, actually, it's good. Okay, so I'm gonna clean, I'm gonna use a number 217 brush and I'm gonna dip into the color Isabel, just like she did. Just play it again. We start building this to the outer oh corner. she's actually and using a different brush and i have that this brush oh it's great okay no. x -nay. she's doing like an ombre effect so i'm gonna go ahead and dip into isabel i love the shade dip it towards the back leaving quite a bit of space left open It almost looks like she's rounding it out. So now she's grabbing a black shade, which the palette does not have. So I'm gonna go and grab the shade Noir from Anastasia as well. Let's see if I can find a tiny brush. I'm gonna go ahead and use this little guy. Dip it here. And building the intensity on the outer perimeter of my eye. Taking the small flat shader brush, I'm going to start bringing that black into the lash line. Now what this is going to do is going to create a more sultry effect. That way there is no line of demarcation. I really was going for more of that rounded look. So here, I'm dipping into that same brush. Just like that. I wanna know how she rounded it out so well. Mining her lid, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same. Now she has both eyes on camera. This is hard, you guys. This part I know how to do. How thick does she I'm just make going them? To take this product and create just a really simple liner. I'm not winging it out. This liner is going to taper into the outer smokiness of my eye look, if that makes sense. So I really just wanted this line to kind of conceal my lash band when I go in with falsies. Taking so she uses a little bit of the black to kind of conceal the two. Okay, 
So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to try to recreate this on the other eye and apply some lashes and I'll be right back. So I wanted to come back on camera because as I'm doing my eyeshadow, I'm like, why didn't this one or why didn't this one come out like this one? So I'm going to keep going and then if I end up liking this one a little bit more, I may just switch it over. Um, I ended up using a closer mirror and I tilted my head, my head all the way back and I feel like it just made a big difference. And blending and look at the difference it's amazing okay so as I mentioned this eye has got to go I'm so much more in love with this one and so yeah I will be right back so you guys can see trial and error it does work you can recreate any kind of look and make it look beautiful and make it work for your face shape so this is just a living proof this was try number one it didn't come out exactly how i wanted it to and this is try number two and i think it's pretty good it's not spot on but it's pretty good so i'll be right back All right, so I've gone ahead and I've applied these lashes. I'm actually using the, let me just lower that down. I've, I'm using the House of Lashes Iconic because I don't have the ones that she's wearing, but they do look really, really pretty. It's pretty exciting. She's starting with complexion. She is using the rose gold um, elixir from Farsali, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply them. I honestly don't use these enough and it's probably because I've had them for so long. That's kind of bad, I know. I'm gonna shake it up just to see if, you know, I need to make it work a little bit better. I also have really oily skin. She does have drier skin than I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply. The same amount she's applying it. Ooh. I think part of the reason why I don't like it is also because of the texture. It just creeps me out a little bit. Then I'm the opposite. I'm like ocean oily. This. Now she is using the Makeup Forever HD foundation stick, which I have. I love this guy. I don't use it enough anymore. This shade is probably a little dark for me at the moment, but we are gonna make it work because we have a concealer and I know she likes a bright under eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that like so. She has a kabuki brush, which I don't have on me right now. It's super dirty, so I'm just going to go ahead and use my Sephora airbrush brush. It's really pretty on, though. I can definitely see why she's using the Forsali in combination with this foundation. This foundation gives such a beautiful coverage to the skin. She's using the L'Oreal concealer, which I don't have, but I know it's more of a luminous concealer, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the one from Bare Minerals and their Bare Skin. She applies a generous amount, so I'm gonna do the same. She's also using Shape Tape. Okay, so I can't find my Shape Tape, so I'm just gonna use the Ulta Full Coverage Liquid Concealer and apply a little bit of this i'm gonna use my fancy beauty sponge because it does have that sharp edge and let's see how it goes okay so she's using cap on d to set her under eyes go ahead and use the same Makes me want to get that Veramona thing though. I'll tell you that. I 
and she's using the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder, which is my favorite, to dust off that dust off that bakage. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So under the eye as well. I love this powder. Truly, truly one of my favorites. And I like this technique too because I feel like it'll definitely help to cancel out that white cast. This will definitely allow you to have a better looking finish. I'm going to use this one in the shade Deep to bronze up my skin. I also love using this shade because I really do feel like it does such a beautiful job. I'm just going to use Luminoso. It's not the same blush that she's using. She's using one from e.l.f., but I don't have that in my collection. And it's so soft, though. She's on highlighter. I don't have the one that she's using either. She is using a Sleek Cosmetics palette. I don't, so I'm gonna go ahead and use. Ooh, so I'm gonna go ahead and use um, Champagne Pop from. Oh, from Becca. I said from Opal. Imagine. Now she went on to apply some black eyeliner and she's like packing it on now I definitely don't do this on the regular so let's see how it comes up she brought it all the way in black eyeshadow and I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out for the lower lashes, she's using the Roller Lash Mascara, so I'm going to go ahead and pop some of this on. I'm going to use this white shade from the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. I'm pretty sure this is going to do it. A really nude lip color. It's gorgeous, by the way. She's using Quark from MAC. She always uses this color and it always looks so good on her. For liquid lipstick, she used the shade Desert Sand, I believe, from Dose of Colors, but I don't have that shade. So I'm going to substitute it for Stripped by Anastasia. So because the color isn't nude enough, I'm going to just apply a tiny, tiny bit of Pure Hollywood. And I'm going to use my finger. To blend it out. And because I did apply that white shade, I'm going to go back in with the liquid liner just to go over the lash band because it did get a little... A little funky over there and there we go it's not exact at all but I'm actually really happy so I will be right back to show you guys the finished product and you guys will let me know what you think um I'm super happy with this I didn't even like highlight my brow bone and that concealer you guys let me just talk about it this might be a new fave for just you know placing the the color on it looks so good i know she used something different she used the hard candy i will probably try to get my hands on it because it's like five bucks it's really inexpensive but i know it's a good one and i'm just super thrilled with everything and how it came out i will definitely be using this palette more because it's a very underutilized in my collection and it came out bomb so yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed this video i had so much fun creating it for you guys as always please let me know what you think in the comment section below and if there's any other makeup look that you want me to recreate i would love to see i love working with challenges and different things so yeah let me know and of course 
don't forget to subscribe so you can be part of the little family that we have going on. We're so close to hitting 100 subscribers and I think it'd be really cool to do that, especially since it's now been officially a year on YouTube and I will try to be more consistent. I do apologize for being a little like eh, here and not there so I will definitely try to get better but yeah I can't wait to see you guys in the next video and I hope you have a great day bye guys